<laughs> Hello kiddos, we're ES here and today we're going to talk about Law of Inertia For us to understand Law of Inertia, we need to know first that a body can be in state of rest or in state of motion. Let us differentiate them. State of rest means if a body does not change its position with respect to fixed point in its surrounding. It only means that it is not moving. While state of motion, if a body is continuously changing its position with respect to its surrounding and with time. For us to know if a body is at rest or in motion, we need to have the so-called point of reference. Let's say, for example, Gumagalaw ba ako? Hmm. Mahirap sabihin kung gumagalaw ako or hindi. Bakit? Dahil wala tayong nakaset na point of reference. If my point of reference or the fixed point is the position of my finger, therefore, it is moving. So therefore, I am moving. If my point of reference is the position of my body or maybe the position of my feet, then even though we do this, still it is described as at rest or it is not moving. That's why it is really important that you set a certain position, fixed position or point of reference. Therefore, a body can be at rest or in motion. You have to remember this too as we go on with this lesson. Another example, a car is at state of rest if it is not moving or it is parked or it is stopped. But it will become in a state of motion if it already moves. So again, at rest, not moving. And state of motion, it is moving. This time, let us define the law of inertia. According to Newton, every object continues to remain at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless a force acts on it to change its state. For us to understand Newton's statement, let us define first what is inertia. Inertia is the tendency of an object to persist in its state or uniform motion in a straight line. In other references, inertia is described as the measure of the resistance to changes in velocity. Later, we're going to cite some examples so that we can visualize what inertia is. And we have to bear in mind this main concept that the higher the mass, the greater the inertia. It only means that the heavier the object, the greater the resistance to changes in velocity. For instance, we got two objects. The first one is a train against a bike. So we know that the bike is less heavier or much lighter than the train. Therefore, it just requires less force or net force for it to change velocity. While the train, we know that it is very heavy. 
That's why it is quite difficult to change its velocity. So you have to exert more force for it to move. That's why the heavier the object, the greater its inertia. Let's try to analyze this situation so that we can appreciate and apply at the same time the concept of inertia in real life situation. Tell whether you'll move forward or backward in this scenario. The first one, a moving jeep or jeepney suddenly stops. Halimbawa, sa jeep ay nakasakay ka. So it is moving. Move, 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 move. Then suddenly, it stops. Or the driver steps on the brake. So saan ka gagalaw? Will you move forward or backward with respect to the direction of the jeep? Hmm, saan nga ba? Based on your experience, saan ka mapupunta? Paharap o patalikod? Tama. For this instance, you will move forward. And it happens every time. Now, let us apply the concept of inertia. Since the jeep is moving and you are inside the jeep, Therefore, you are moving as well. And that is your state of motion. Then suddenly, the driver step on the brake. So what happens is that, what will happen is that you will move forward with respect to the direction taken by the jeep. As we recall the statement of the law of inertia, it says that a body that is at rest remains at rest or a body that is in a uniform motion remain in its state of motion unless an external force is applied. Kaya naman in that scenario, since we are moving, we will continuously moving then stop. That forward motion indicates that we are moving still. Then we will stop. So moving, still moving, then stop. Inertia. The second event, a jeep at rest suddenly moves. So ibig sabihin na a stop. Then biglang gumalaw. Will you move forward or Backward. The answer is backward. Since you are at state of rest, therefore, when it suddenly moves, you will remain at rest. At parang naiwan ka. Kaya, you will move backward. Again, you are moving, then you will still move, then stop. So it is not an abrupt thing. A body always have an inertia. So therefore, it has a resistance, resistance to change in its state. So therefore, it is moving. So it will still move, then stop. If you are at rest, you will remain at rest, then moving. This is the common experiment for inertia. And let's try to answer the question. Why will the coin drop into the glass when a force accelerates the car? Ano nga bang technique na pwede natin gawin para mahulog yung coin sa loob ng glass? Hmm. Tama. Ang best na strategy dyan ay Mabilis na movement ng cupboard. Bakit? As we analyze, the coin at this point is at rest. So when the card is moved very fast, therefore, 
the coin has a tendency to remain at rest. Kung baga, may iwan yung coin sa gitna. Rest remains at rest, and so it will fall. And that's our target in here. That we need to avoid putting force on the coin so that it will remain at rest. How about the situation? Why does the downward motion and sudden stop of the hammer tighten the hammer head? Ganito ang strategy ina-apply ng mga karpentero or yung mga taong gumagamit ng hammer or martilyo para mag-tighten ito or humigpit ito sa hawakan. So for this scenario, ang kailangan natin ay ma ipokpok yung handle sa matibay na bagay katulad ng wall or maybe cemento para mag-tighten yung hammerhead doon sa body or sa handle. So with that, as we analyze it, the hammer is at state of motion. So it is moving. Then suddenly it will reach a certain point where it will stop. So applying the concept of inertia, a body that is at state of motion will remain in its state of motion. So therefore, if it is moving, then the tendency is that the head of the hammer will continuously moving. Again, it is moving, then continuously moving, then stop. And with that, it tightens. And that's it. It's the end of our discussion. I hope that you learned something today. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope to see you again in my next Teach Vlog. Bye-bye! God bless! Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>